What's up everybody, I'm Scott Bino. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're doing well. In today's video, I wanna talk about EMG pickups, specifically EMG 81 pickups, and I wanna sort of test a myth or a claim that I've been hearing for a really long time. Uh, this is probably going back uh, over 20 years ago. I remember somebody saying something to me and it really stuck with me. And he was talking about EMG 81 pickups and saying that it didn't matter what guitar you put them into, expensive, cheap, uh, wood combination didn't matter, didn't matter what make or model, an EMG 81 will always sound like an EMG 81 no matter what. You know, and I remember he made this comment that you could install an EMG 81 pickup into like a tree trunk and it would sound like an EMG 81, it didn't matter. And you know, over the years, I've heard this claim repeated numerous times, uh, both in person and, you know, I've read it online uh, in a bunch of places in different online forums where people have made that claim. Now there's other folks out there who counter that claim and just say, you know, that's bullshit. People who say that don't know anything or they're just repeating what they've heard. And so I've always wanted to kind of test that myth and test that claim to see if there's any truth to it. So that's what we're gonna do today. And the way that I'm gonna test this claim today is I'm gonna demo the EMG 81 in two, what I think to be completely different guitars. The first guitar is this 2009 limited edition Epiphone Les Paul Custom. This has a mahogany body, a mahogany neck, and a maple fretboard. This is a set neck guitar made in China. It's like under a thousand bucks if you can find one. They're pretty limited though, but they're not super expensive guitars. I'm gonna compare that to this made in USA 2019 Fender Stratocaster Jim Root signature model. This is like a $2,000 guitar, so it's like twice as much as this guitar. Um, also has a mahogany body, but a very different construction. Um, it's a bolt-on neck, maple neck with an ebony fretboard. So what I think to be two completely different guitars, but the commonality is they both have an EMG 81 in the bridge. Also, one quick disclaimer about this video. This is a high gain overdriven test. I'm not doing like a low gain or mid gain or like a clean guitar tone comparison here. Strictly this is a high gain overdriven test. That's what the majority of people who use these pickups use them for. So that's what we're gonna do today. All right, so after listening back to the demo song, to be totally honest, I thought the guitars sounded pretty much identical. I couldn't really hear much of a difference or anything that was like super noticeable. Maybe you heard something different than me. Maybe your ears are better than mine, but generally speaking, I thought they sounded kind of the same. So let's jump into Pro Tools together. I've got the demo song pulled up here. And what I wanna do is I wanna mute the bass and mute the drums. And I just wanna hear this demo song again just with the guitars on their own. And so what you'll see here is you've got the left and right Strat tracks and the left and right Epiphone tracks. And I'll put it on screen to make it really, really obvious which guitar you're hearing, but let's go ahead and hear how this sounds.
So that was really interesting to me because even without the drums and the bass, these dual track guitars, to me at least, sounded pretty much the same. Uh, maybe you've got better ears than me. Maybe you heard something different. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. But I mean, in like the grand scheme of a mix, the difference, if any, is so minuscule. Does it even really matter? Um, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to push this test forward just a little bit. That demo song was in drop B. I'm going to tune the guitars up to drop C. I'm just going to do some isolated riffing between the two guitars. I'll cut the video uh, back and forth between the two so you can hear how they sound. The amp settings and the amp are going to be the same. But what I'm going to do this time just to change it up is I'm going to boost the amp with a Guptech Mad Shoe boost pedal. <laughs> everyone so there you have it my demo of the emg 81 pickup uh did we bust a myth today did we confirm the myth today um did you think these pickups sounded the exact same regardless of the guitar or could you hear a difference between the two would love to know what you think leave me a comment down in the comments below if you like this video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and remember stay safe and stay heavy peace out